Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, March 31st, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Rainbow has faded away. Let's make another one as you come down. Breathe in to get ready. Breathe out and see the rainbow form as your arms float down to your sides. Let's do that two more times. Arms go wide and up with your in-breath. And the arms come down with your out-breath. Wow, that is so relaxing. It's always good to take one chill brain break to start off the day. Now let's go to word of the day. Hey Randy, did you see the kids playing with the jump rope at recess today? Oh yeah, I thought it was so cool how they were simultaneously jumping through the rope. Yeah, I've never seen so many people doing it all at the same time. Maybe next time we could join. Well, I don't know if we could do it simultaneously, but we'll try. <laughs> See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. I love learning new words. Thank you, Peyton. Sports fans, Canada is officially back in the soccer game. We now know our northern neighbors already have winter sports down to a science, and now thanks to indoor arenas and lots of practice, they have qualified for the World Cup this year. Last Sunday, the team had a goal 4-0 victory against Jamaica to solidify themselves a spot at the Games of Qatar. Coach John Hardman has very high hopes for the team. He said Canada can now call itself a legit football country. If I snow one thing, it's that Canada will sure give their opponents a run for their money. Now let's see what's cooking with David. Thank you, Valencia. Today's lunch is Santa Fe chicken, tortilla rounds, ruby rushers, vegetable juice, fresh pears, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. That sure sounds delicious. Exciting news, Patriots. Our school is offering a cheerleading team for the 2022 to 2023 school year. This is only for the 4th to 7th graders. Make sure to scan the QR and turn in your application by April 8th. Good luck. I wish you all the best. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, here are this week's top hero users. Scholars, the Hero Celebration is next week Monday. This fantastic party is for the top Hero Point earners in quarter three. It's invite only, so if you got an invite, make sure to go. Teachers, make sure to keep on giving those points, and students, make sure to keep on earning them. Sports fans, today both our girls flag football team and our boys baseball team have a game against the Browser Mymonades. The game start at 4 p.m. Let's go Patriots! Your books are now on sale. It's $30 until April 8th, and after April 8th, the prices will rise to $35. So get yours while you can. It's only sold on myschoolbooks.com. Scholars, the NWEA is coming up. The math NWEA for grades K to second is today. Take a look at the flyer for more upcoming dates. FSA testing is also starting soon. Look at the flyer to see when it's your turn to test. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Aiden. Thank you, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. It looks like we should be experiencing a temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. It's nice out today, so enjoy the outdoors. 
In other weather news, the Japanese Cherry Blossom Festival is back after three years. The Cherry Blossom is the top rated most beautiful flower in the world. No wonder they have their own festival. These trees were expected to reach their peak bloom on March 22nd through March 25th. Cherry blossoms need a full month of chilly weather below 41 degrees in order to properly bloom. Fun fact, these cherry trees were, were a gift from Japan in 1912. It's amazing we get to appreciate this beautiful sight. Now let's go to Destiny for today's birthdays. Thank you, Aiden. Today we have no Patriot birthdays, but I hope you all have an amazing day. Now let's check out Weird But True with Scott and Sonia. Good morning, Patriots! Here's this week's Weird But True Fact! The ocean is filled with wonders. Ships, fish, sharks. And speaking of sharks, we're telling you about a shark that is glow awesome. Literally, the shark glows in the dark. The swell shark is a glow in the dark shark that lies in the deep depths of the ocean. It gets its name from one of its defense mechanisms. When the swell shark is threatened, it swells up like a balloon by sucking in a bunch of air and or water. This shark surely is a light to see. That's it for this week's Rip But True Facts. Now, let's go to Destiny for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. They are present, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Silvera, Ms. Barrow, Ms. Santori, Ms. Stone, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Chang, Ms. Shadid, Ms. Carmona, Ms. Only, Ms. I'm Dan Kwa, Ms. Carter, and Ms. Brillante. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, which planet is known as the Red Planet? The correct answer is Mars. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which famous soft drink was invented in 1892? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance.gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV will have to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!